What is up everybody top 500 we are back in it again finally after being out of getting those star event cards for a couple weeks we are back in that top 500 5,000 points exactly thanks everybody that came out to the stream our team did really good this is like the first time in a couple weeks that our team has been full we have uh, finished overall sixth and big shout out to John who finished in the top 10 good job to him thanks everybody that came out to the stream today we are going to check out all the polls that we got on the draft board which isn't many as you see from the poll rates but we are going to look at that winner card we did get a free winner card last night if you checked out my twitter page which i posted on there if you haven't followed that please in the description we do have that link down there also the discord is down there below as well we are also going to check out my 10,000th game reward if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, man. Let me know in the comments what you got for that winter card reward and what you got in this event. I'm hoping that there's going to be a flash event. I know a lot of people are away for the holidays or spending time with their family, maybe not have time to do the um, flash event if there is one. But similar to Halloween, we did get a flash event in which we had autumn cards, if y'all remember. The Dennis Rodman Elite card, we are able to pro that up. If they do do a flash event, a flash gauntlet, you know, if they throw in some winner cards, even though I don't necessarily like them too much, at least the winner cards are useful in, you know, decks, Rivals Clash decks and things like that. Just being that they're better cards and everything. Maybe we get that, but first thing we are actually going to do today is uh, we're going to check out my 10,000th game reward. Now, <laughs> the jumps after you get to 10,000, even though 10,000 is quite a bit of a big jump. After 10,000, we got 25,000, and 25,000 games is going to take some time. If you think about the time that it's been since the very first start of NBA 2K, well, we're just getting to 10,000 right now. And now we got 15,000 more to go. So that'll probably be like the last tier or something by the time we are there. Doubt we'll get to the 50,000 game one after that. But anyway, how did everybody's Rivals Clash event go? Let me know who you got in the polls. Man, these poll rates are absolutely terrible. Uh, 261 resets. If you remember, if you caught the stream... I did say that they were going to be bad. We did actually pick up a couple elites in the actual stream itself. So, you know, picked up a couple good cards, decent cards anyway. But uh, only two stars, less than 1%, which is pretty bad. Spinners, again, man, only all six of these spinners were rare spinners. I cannot pick up a decent spinner to save my life. It's been weeks since then. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, more elites than epic primes. So not too many to look at. Oh, I also got a couple card, new cards to look at. But like I said, 10,000th game reward. Now, if anybody else got a 10,000th game or 5,000th, I can't even remember what it is. But we got the Dennis Schroeder card. I don't have this one. Um, another point guard. Yeek. But it was a star card, so I can't, I guess, necessarily complain. I mean, a star is a star. I just have a ton, as far as star goes, I have a ton of point guards and then a ton of centers. So be nice to get like a small forward, maybe even a top tier star would be nice too. But anyway, that is my 10,000th game reward. And then if you haven't caught one of these videos before, normally I just show Epic Prime, Elite, and Star. But since there are a couple new cards in the in the catalog, I figured I would put those in as well. At least the ones that I got. Joakim Noah with the Memphis Grizzly. We also got uh, the Kyle Korver on the Utah Jazz trade. And then we got Tyson Chandler on the Lakers. Man, he looks super, super skinny in this picture. I don't know. Obviously, he's getting pretty old and everything. And probably can't hold the muscle mass like he had before. But he looks really skinny in that picture. And then Alec Burks from the Jazz over to Cleveland. Cleveland over to the Jazz. And then our epic primes, we didn't get too many, only five total. Two of those were actually support cards, so that's not very good. Jalen Brown, again, I picked that dude up every single event. It seems like Larry Nance Jr. And then we got the Derek Coleman. 
So um, I didn't have the Larry Nance. I didn't have the Derek Coleman. So neither one of these were dupes to help the catalog. Not that they, you know, help the deck or anything, but I still am trying to collect the catalog. Now we got elites, elites. I did obviously fare a little bit better. We got seven total Jabari Parker, which was a dupe. Gordon Hayward, which was a dupe. Giannis Ante Tecumpo. I already had him duped up, so it didn't help. Kimba Walker, nice card didn't have him so no dupe on that one xavier mcdaniel this one was a dupe so that's three dupes for the elite cards as well uh kevin durant did not have this one picked this one up in the stream same with the xavier mcdaniel the xavier mcdaniel i picked up at the stream on friday and then the one last night got the kevin durant and then my very first star card antonio mcdice now, before we get into the other star card, I want to you know, remind everybody if you saw the uh, Rivals Clash video, I believe with the Russell Westbrook, um, I picked up like seven total stars. Well, four of those stars were actually two sets of dupes where I picked up a card I didn't have, a star that I didn't have. And then not but 10 draft boards later, I picked up the exact same card again on the draft board. Now the chances of that happening, two picks in a row, are pretty darn slim, right? Well, I did that twice in the Rivals Clash last time. Well, as you can guess, you know, where I'm going with this is, is that this Antonio McDice I picked up on the draft board and 12 draft boards later, I picked up another Antonio McDice. Well, that's really strange, right? Two Antonio McDices in one single event seems really weird, right? Um, and not to only do it once, but to do it twice in two separate events, I guess three times total. Kind of makes me feel like uh, the draft board is completely rigged, at least as far as what you pull, when you pull, if you pull dupes, if you pull only singles, and all that stuff. But uh, to do it three times in a matter of weeks in one single tier is really weird. But it is a dupe, getting ready for the gauntlet, so I do need the dupes. I don't know, I guess it's silver lining that I do have the dupes. I kind of wish I obviously picked up more, but I didn't. Anyway, that is all of the pulls from the draft board. Of course, that is the 10,000 game reward. And then we have the Dwight Howard. Glad I was able to pick this one up. Tenacious rebounder, good defense, good rebounding. Can't necessarily beat um, the KD or probably the other offense. I'm not even sure what the R Russell Westbrook was or how close it was, but uh, that is what the Dwight Howard is. And at least with the support card, you'll be able to beat the offense and all that stuff. All right, so here's the Dwight Howard when it is maxed out level 26, pretty good defense, at least the best defense that we're able to put together so far and really good rebounding. But even still, I mean, when you compare that to uh, the Kevin Durant, you compare that to the Russell Westbrook, you see a 3408 for the defense. If you look at Westbrook's offense, 3443. So still can't beat really too many cards um, outright as far as the offense goes, but still you add a support in there, at least you'll do better anyway. And it can at least compete with uh, regular I guess star cards but anyway that is the Dwight Howard all maxed out like I said let me know in the comments how you did if you got this if you didn't get this what you got what pulls you and you know what pulls you were able to do but now let's check out that free winner card so my post on Twitter a couple people replied and uh, posted what they got as far as out of this pack and every single one of them so far has posted epic prime at least the ones that I've seen so it doesn't feel like the odds are going to be very good at all in order to get a star I'll be hopeful but uh, I don't know can't really can't really think that you know I'm gonna pull something amazing but you never know you never know here we go we got our free winner card maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get a free pro for christmas tomorrow maybe with a flash event or something but 
Winner card. Let's get something good. Let's clutch out another star, especially after the event I just had. And it is an epic prime and it's canter. Wow. All right. Well, thanks for that one. Um, definitely appreciate that uh, amazing card. So um, everybody that's posted on the Twitter page and myself included, free epics, epic prime winner cards. I guess we'll add that to uh, all the other you know autumn garbage that we got in uh the flash events and the free autumn pack but uh that's gonna do it for the video if you did enjoy hit that thumbs up hopefully everybody has great holidays merry christmas uh happy new years and all that stuff we'll we'll do another stream and a video before then obviously before the new years but uh happy holidays to everybody if you did enjoy hit that thumbs up i'll see y'all later i am out peace